Hallelujah, praise the Lord, glory and honor, dominion and power now and forever. The Lord God is omnipotent. He reigns with power forever with power. Hallelujah, we give glory to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords this morning. I'm your girl, your sister, your auntie, your niece, Pastor Lonnie. I'm back. I'm so sorry yesterday I was in the struggle with this hair yesterday. Um, I done came up in the struggle a little bit. I'm in the 70s right now. You see my two natural corn braids. I'm in the 70s right now. I'm going to catch up to the millennium. Don't worry about it. But in the meantime, we're going to start walking again. Amen. We had a day off yesterday. Relaxation. I pray that you um at least went back and kind of meditated on the ones. I apologize. I told y'all I was coming. But yo, the struggle was really real. And after those kids left um, and I got finished tackling um, this project, um, because I had the condition of sitting all day yesterday. After I tackled the project, I was wiped out. Um, I did some work, made some dominoes, getting ready for the pop-up shop this Saturday. I'll tell y'all about that after we walk. Y'all ready to walk? Command number 16. Do not cast pearls. Amen. So, um, the scripture comes from Matthew 7, verse 6, and it says, Do not give dogs what is holy, and do not throw your pearls before pigs, lest they trample them underfoot and turn to attack you. Amen. And so a lot of times you hear say, do not cast your pearls before swine. Amen. And it means um, uh, don't offer something that's very valuable to somebody who can't appreciate it. Amen. They don't appreciate the value. They don't know what it means. And then you end up being upset and you frustrated and you mad, you know, because things don't turn out the way that you turned out to be. But you've cast your pearls before swine. You've given somebody something that is valuable and they have no idea what that is. And what they usually do is somewhere along the line, they throw it in your face. They use it against you, you know, somewhere along the line, you know, to try to make you um, the hypocrite or try to, you know, make you f uh, feel inferior, whatever it might be, however, they, whatever their accomplishment is that they're trying to accomplish, because I could never understand that stuff. So, um, you know... Um, don't waste good things on people who don't appreciate them. You know, when I was a young girl and a lot of times, and you know, these are the things that break my heart about the church or, um, um, people that were in the church, as opposed to sharing the word of God with love. Um, you can give this word and give this word with love and it won't damage a person, but it'll build them up and edify them and equip them to be able to, um, go out into this world and survive. But you know, that would they would say that to young girls, you know, about, you know, having sex with guys before marriage. Don't cash your pearls before swine. Don't cash. Well, what does that mean? You know, define that for, I don't know what that means. First of all, I ain't got no pearls because we all broke. That's number one. <laughs> and I'm eating the pig. So <laughs> whatever. Amen. And so, um, we have to make sure that we're not, you know, get it, putting out things valuable, our valuable things you know, and, 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 and tussling with people who won't appreciate them. And that's not just, you know, worldly things, but even more importantly, it's the things of God. Jesus was really trying to warn his disciples about, you know, talking to those audiences that would be receptive to what they had to say, what he had to say. Amen. And so those that will listen and those that will hear, we know that there's two different types and those that will listen, at least they will stand and they will listen to you know, what a person has to say and possibly weigh the options, whether they go that way or not. You know, they've listened. And then there are those that will hear. We we know about, the Bible talks about them often, especially in the book of Revelation, when, you know, God is speaking to the churches. Let he that have an ear hear what the Spirit is saying. So there are those that will listen and those that will hear. Amen. And those are the people that you want to talk to. You want to, you know, you want to be able to um, talk about the word of God without a battle, without a fight. You know, um, Paul tells us in Corinthians that one waters, you know, one plants, one waters, but it's God that provides the increase. Stop battling with people over the word of God. Stop trying to force the word of God on them. Listen, the word does the work. We are nobody's Holy Spirit. We share the true, pure, unadulterated word in love. 
And then that word will do the work in the heart of a person. Amen. And so, although you may plant the seed of, of love, of, of the love of Christ in somebody, someone else may come. They may not, you know, accept and receive right there their whole life. And guess what? They might accept and, accept and receive right there, but their whole lives may not drastically turn around. Their story may not be your miraculous healing deliverance story, you know, where the angels came down like Jesus and a dove landed on your shoulder and you was delivered from everything immediately. That's not their story. You understand? They, they like most of us, you know, we still walking through the process. And so don't, don't try to force that. If somebody doesn't want to hear, you continue to love them. You know, as long as they're not belligerent, disrespectful enough, listen, what's the problem? Continue to love them. That should be something that comes, begins to come natural if we're walking in these commands and we're practicing the love of God and we're following Jesus Christ and we're repenting and we're rejoicing. If we're doing all of those things and we're walking in the love of the Lord and the joy of the Lord and most, more importantly, the fear of the Lord, you know, what can go wrong? So do not cast pearls. Don't give what is good. That good that God gave you. Just be dishing it and doling it out. Everything that God shows you is not is not for you to share. Everything that God speaks to you about your life is not for you to, you know, repeat and say. And sometimes I have to learn that sometimes we get so excited with what God has showed us and what we want to do, you know, that we just go off and we just want to share it with the world, but everybody can't handle it. And everybody is not ready for it. And there's some people out there that will pretend as if they're going to help you build. And as you know, as you appear to be building, they snatching bricks out and throwing them over their shoulder, you know, and the progress is never done. The process is never done because somebody is picking. So sometimes God says something to you or does this and it's time for you to just sit still, study on that thing, learn about that thing, meditate on that thing, see what the word says about that thing, get it down in your spirit. So when the time comes to birth that thing, amen. When women are pregnant, they go through books. You know, when they want to have a healthy baby, most women, they, they're online and they're getting articles back in the day. We got books, you know, but we're on, you know, women are online and they're looking up articles and they're studying things and they're learning how a baby grows and they're learning what happens during labor and they're learning, you know, they're learning the process that they're about to go through. Well, listen, the word of God tells you all about the process that you are in. It tells you how to birth the those things that God wants to get out of you. Don't cast your pearls. Hold on to your pearls. Amen. And, and, and do with them what God says. God will take your pearls, your gift, your treasures, and, and, and use them to bring you before great men and make room. They will make room for you and bring you before great men. Amen. My pastor was on last night and he started talking about that. And I, I just love that. And um, you know, I saw a, 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 an illustration of that where he, where, uh, uh, Dr. Cindy Trim, my favorite, absolutely. I'm going to meet her one day. Hi, Dr. Trim, if you, um, out there, amen. Um, and she talked about how your gift would make room for you. And she had some people down low and there was a platform that was a little bit higher. And she said, okay, you're down here. And they were shoulder to shoulder. And, um, there were people, there was one person down there and the people up on a platform were shoulder to shoulder shoulder to shoulder. They represented the great man and the person down there. They were there and they had their gifts, whether that gift was an offering, a sacrifice, um, you know, giving back your talent, whatever the gift was, they had that gift and they have been good stewards over that gift and faithful over that gift. And now they were before great men with the gift and the great men separated and made a space for them. And they stepped up with their gift and were shoulder to shoulder now with the great men. Amen. Your gift will make room for you and bring you before a great man and you will step up into another realm. Amen. Another financial realm, another, another spiritual realm, another realm of revelation, another realm of wisdom and knowledge, another biz level of business. You know what, wherever it is, God is taking you in that moment. He'll use that. So hold on to your pearls. Amen. I'm learning that. And I pray that you're learning that too. We are not going to, you know, allow to give the enemy 
You know, we're not going to be unequally yoked and that's just not in. Again, we apply everything to sexual relationships and fleshly, worldly things, but that's even in our businesses and our partnerships and everything. We will not be un unequally yoked with unbelievers. Amen. We will, we will connect with those that are connected with God. Why? Because we are kingdom builders. And if we are connected together, we are kingdom building together. Amen. Amen. So hold on to your pearls. Amen. I love you guys. And you know what to do. Um, one of you tag 49 people, 49 of you tag one person. And matter of fact, everybody just hit the share button and we all call it a day. Amen. If there's somebody out there who heard this and you know you you've been listening to the 49 commands and we're up to 16 and you saying I think that there's something in this. Um, I think she's going somewhere with this. Um, I can feel I can feel something moving in my heart, in my spirit, and and you you want Jesus Christ. I'm here to offer him to you today as a gift. Amen. He is the gift, a free gift that um, was given by God Himself. Amen. Um, for the world, for the sin of the world, nobody has a lock on it. If your heart is open and you are receptive, you can have Jesus Christ today. So I offer them to you and all it takes is you to pray this simple prayer and ask and say, Father, I thank you for keeping me and I thank you for um, sustaining me. Thank you for loving me in spite of me, oh God. And I thank you even more that you sent your son, Jesus Christ, to die on a cross just for me so that I could be in a right relationship with you with everything that I've done and everything that I've said and I've gone against you and I've spoken against you. Oh my goodness, I finally got the revelation of how much you love me and how much I need you. And so I invite you in. Holy Spirit, captivate my heart. Teach me your way. I commit my life to you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. If you prayed that prayer, say those three simple words. I am saved and believe that thing. No man can snatch you out of God's hands now. You belong to the master and you're his. The heavens are rejoicing and so am I. Just got another new brother or sister into the kingdom. Amen. Somebody else that I can build with. Amen. And so I just thank you guys so much for joining me this morning. Look forward to tomorrow. We're going to be talking about ask, seek, and knock. Amen. That's the 17th command. Amen. And I ask you guys, don't forget to go take a look at my website, website faithatllc.com. Amen. Check out my book, The Possibilities of God, 21 Days of Faith Devotional. Um, I got my prayers now, blessings later, dominoes. For those of you, dominoes are hot right now. Um, those of you who are into dominoes and we even personalize them. And so I'm so excited with some of the things that God is doing. I am committed to committing my way to him so that he might make it successful in everything that I do is to glorify his name and to, um, to build, um, to build the kingdom. Amen. It's God that gives us the ability to get wealth. And amen. When my wealth comes rolling through, believe you, me, amen. We, we, we are going to be blessed by it. Amen. The way that God says, now don't be calling me up, asking me to send you no envelope or no none of that stuff. Cause we're not doing that, but I can promise that you will be connected to the blessing. Amen. You'll find a way. I will make sure that there's a way. Now you just gotta get, you just gotta grab hold of it. Amen. Amen. I love you guys. I thank you for listening to me. Amen. I know sometimes I ramble a little bit, but hey, we family, right? I love you guys. Have a blessed day. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you and we bless you for this command. Lord, as we walk today, as you give us brilliant, innovative, and creative ideas, oh God, that will change the world, Lord, as you implant and download things that will make us game changers, oh God. Hallelujah. As you show us who we are in you, that we realize that our merchandise is good and that we have this treasure in earthen vessels, oh God, that the excellence may not be of ourselves, but of you. Lord God, we just thank you. We ask you, Father, in the name of Jesus, that all of that, God, teach us how to protect it. Teach us how to preserve it. Teach us how to be faithful stewards over all that you've given us. Help us not to cast our pearls before swine. Hallelujah. That the enemy may not get an advantage and pervert anything that you've given us, oh God, that will be a blessing to your people, oh God, and and a growth to your kingdom. Lord, we glorify you. Every moment in your presence is pure. 
joy. And so we thank you right now, God, as we wrap ourselves up in that, oh God, we put our coats on, God, we let it seep deep down into our spirits and into our systems, God, that peace, that joy, that love, that word, that calm, oh God, Lord, you are not the author of confusion, Lord, but we thank you right now when we take all of that with us into our day, we take it into our workplaces, God, we even ask right now that you would go before us, Lord, set the atmosphere, and if we're already there, Lord, change the atmosphere. We invite you in, Father. Forgive us if we didn't do that when we started our day, but we invite you in right now. We stop at this moment, Lord, and we open the door of our heart, God, and we know that when you come into our heart, God, you, you reflect on everything around us. So let your light shine. We declare that today is will be a good day. Why? Because you've given us new mercies. You've given us your grace. Oh God, you've allowed us to see another day. And we lift those that are mourning, oh God. We ask that you would give them comfort. Father, we pray, Father, in the name of Jesus for those who are sick, oh God. We ask that you would send healing virtue to their bodies right now, oh God. We pray, Father, for those who may be racked with pain, Lord. Send peace in their joints and their muscles, oh God, and their ligaments. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you and we bless you. We glorify you and we honor you, God. We thank you for what you've done, what you're doing, and what you will do. We thank you for who you are and we give you glory. We ask you now, Holy Spirit, that you will go before us to guide us, above us to protect, above us to bless us, behind us to protect us, and in us to keep us. We thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I love you guys. Have an, have an awesome day. And remember, when all else fails, you just keep on faith in it.